Hey, hi to all the followers, many and many viewers. I presume you and your beloved are hail and guilty. He is social activist, a good-hearted teacher. Professor S. Suresh back with a share expressive for my 128 video on handle of publication on YouTube today, 31st December 2020, Thursday, last day of this dark year. The topic for today is mental health and allied psychiatric disorders. Mental health defined by World Health Organization WHO is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make a contribution to his or her community. The three core components of this definition are well-being, effective functioning of the individual, and effective functioning for a community. According to the WHO, mental health includes subjective well-being, perceived self-efficacy, autonomy, competence, intergenerational dependence, and self-actualization of one's intellectual and emotional potential, among others. From the perspective of, of positive psychology of, or of holism, mental health may include an individual's ability to enjoy life and to create a balance between life activities and efforts to achieve psychological resilience. Cultural differences, subjective assessments, and competing professional theories all affect how one defines mental health. According to the UK Surgeon General in 1999, mental health is the successful performance of the mental function resulting in productive abilities, fulfilling relationships with other people and providing the ability to adapt to change and cope with adversity. The term mental illness refers collectively to all diagnosable mental disorders. conditions characterized by alterations in thinking, mood, or behavior associated with the distress or impaired functioning. Mental health has long been defined as the absence of psychopathology such as depression and anxiety. The absence of mental illness, however, is a minimal outcome from a psychological perspective of lifespan development. Scoring MTs has created a two-continuum model of mental illness and health, which holds that both are related but distinct dimensions. One continuum indicates the presence or absence of mental health, the other the presence or absence of mental illness. For example, people with optimal mental health can also have a mental illness, and people who have no mental illness can also have poor mental health. Indeed, the WHO distinguishes mental health from mental illness. Mental health is a state of com com complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Nearly Jehovah described six major fundamental categories that can be used that can be used to categorize mentally healthy individuals. These include a positive attitude towards self, personal growth, integration, autonomy, a true perception of reality, and environmental mastery, which include adaptab adaptability and healthy interpersonal relationships, mental health problems may arise due to stress, loneliness, depression, anxiety, relationships problems, death of a loved one, suicidal thoughts, grief, addiction, attention deficit, hyper activity disorder, ADHD, self-harm, various mood or disorders or other mental illnesses of varying degrees as well as learning disabilities. Therapists Psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, nurse practitioners, or family physicians can help manage mental illness with the treatments such as therapy, counseling, or medication. In the mid 19th century, William Sweetser, Sweetser was the first to coin the term mental hygiene, which can be seen as a precursor to contemporary approaches to work on promoting positive mental health. Isaac Ray, the fourth president of the American Psychiatric Association and one of its founders further defined mental hygiene as the art of preserving the mind against all incidents and influences calculated to deteriorate its qualities, impair its energies, or derange its movements. In American history, mentally ill patients
that ought to be religiously punished. This response persisted through the 1700s along with the inhuman confinement and stigmatization of such individuals. Dorothea Dix was an important figure in the development of the mental hygiene movement. Dix was a school teacher who endeavored to help people with mental disorders and to expose the substandard conditions into which they were put. This became known as the mental hygiene movement. Before this movement, it was not uncommon that people affected by mental illness would be considerably neglected, often left alone in, in deplorable, con deplorable conditions without sufficient clothing. From 1840 to 1880, she won, the, she won over the support of the federal government to set up over 30 state psychiatric hospitals. However, they were understaffed, under-resourced, and were accused of violating human rights. Emil Kreplin in 1996 developed the taxonomy of mental disorders, which has domin dominated the field for nearly eight years. Later, the proposed disease model of abnormality was subjected to analysis and considered normality to be relative to the physical, geographical, and cultural aspects of the defining group. At the beginning of the 20th century, Clifford B. has founded Mental Health America National Committee for Mental Hygiene after publication of his accounts as a patient in several lunatic asylums. Mind that found itself in 1908 and opened the first outpatient mental health clinic in the US. The mental hygiene movement, similar to the social hygiene movement, had at times been associated with advocating eugenics, eugenics, eugenics and sterilization of those considered too mentally deficient to be assisted into productive work and contented family life. In the post-World War II years, references to mental hygiene were gradually replaced by the term mental health due to its positive aspect, that in about, from the treatment of illness to preventive and promotive areas of health care. illnesses are more common than cancer, diabetes, or heart disease. Over 26% of all Americans over the age of 18 meet the criteria for having a mental illness. Evidence suggests that 450 million people worldwide have some mental illness. Statistics, major depression, banks, fourth among the top 10 leading causes of disease worldwide. By 19, 2029, mental illness is predicted to become the leading cause of disease worldwide. Women are more likely to have a mental illness than men. One million people commit suicide every year and 10 to 20 million attempt it. A WHO report estimates the global cost of mental illness at nearly 2.5 trillion US dollars in 2010 with a projected increase of over 6 trillion US dollars by 2030. Evidence from the WHO suggests that nearly half of the world's population is affected by mental illness with an impact on their self-esteem, relationships, and ability to function in everyday life. And individual's emotional health can impact their physical health. Poor mental health can lead to problems such as the ability to make adequate decisions and substance abuse. Good mental health can improve life quality. Whereas poor mental health can worsen it. According to Richards, Campania, and Muse Burke, there is growing evidence that is showing emotional abilities are associated with their pro social behavior, such as stress management and physical health. The research also concluded that people who lack emotional expression are inclined to antisocial behaviors, which reflects one mental health and uh, suppressed emotions. Adults and children who face mental illness may experience social stigma, which, which can exacerbate the issues. Mental health can be seen as an unstable continent where an individual's mental health may have different, many different possible values. 
mental wellness is generally viewed as positive attribute even if the person does not have the any diagnosed mental health condition definition of mental health highlights emotional well-being the capacity to live a full and creative life and the flexibility to deal with life's inevitable challenges some discussions are formulated in terms of contentment or happiness many the therapeutic systems and self help books offer methods and philosophies exposing strategies and techniques wanted as effective for the further improving the mental wellness positive psychology is increasingly prominent in mental health a holistic model of mental health generally includes concepts based upon anthropological educational psychological religious and sociological perspectives there are also models as theoretical perspectives from personality social clinical health and developmental psychology the tripartite tripartite model of mental well being use mental well being as encompassing three components of emotional well being social well being and psychological well being emotional well being is defined as having high levels of positive emotions whereas social and psychological well being are defined as the presence of psychological psychosocial psychological and social skills and abilities that contribute to optimal functioning in daily life the model has received empirical support across cultures the mental health can be shortened yeah shortly m h c c s f is the most widely used to scale to measure the tripartite model of mental well being according to 2020 data mental illnesses are a stagnant incidence among adults but are increasing among the youth categorized as 12 to 17 year olds approximately 30% of youth in us reported suffering from at least one major dep- depressive episode in 2019-20 the greatest increase 18% in oregon only 18, 28% received con- consistent treatment and 70% are left untreated in lower income communities it is more common to forego treatment as a result of financial resources being left untreated also leads to unhealthy coping mechanisms such as substance abuse which in turn causes its own host of mental health issues mental health and stability is a very important factor in a person's everyday life the human brain develops many skills at an early age including social skills behavioral skills and one's way of thinking learning how to interact with others and how to focus on certain subjects are essential lessons to learn at a young age this starts from the time we can talk all the way to when we are so old that we can barely walk however there are people in society who have difficulties with these skills and behave differently a mental illness consists of a wide range of conditions that affects a person's mood thinking and behavior about 26% of people in the us aged ages 18 and older have been diagnosed with some kind of mental disorder damn good however not much is said about children and mental illnesses even though many develop one even as early as age 3 the most common mental illness illnesses in children include but are not limited to anxiety disorder as well as depression in older children and teens <coughs> having a mental illness at age age is different from having one in adult children's brains are still developing and will continue to develop until around the age of 25 when a mental illness is thrown into the mix it becomes significantly harder for a child to acquire the necessary skills and habits that people use throughout the day for example behavioral skills do not develop as fast as motor or sensory skills do so when a child has an anxiety disorder they begin to lack proper social interaction and associate many ordinary things with intense fear this can be scary for the child because they don't necessarily understand why they act and think the way they do many researchers say that parents should keep an eye on the child if they have any reason to believe that something is likely off if the children are evaluated earlier they become more acquainted to the disorder and treating it becomes a part of their daily routine this is supposed to adults who might not recover as quickly because it is more difficult for them to adapt 
when already being accustomed to a certain direction of life. Mental illness affects not only the person themselves, but the people around them. Friends and family also play an important role in the child's mental health, stability and treatment. If the child is saying parents are the ones who evaluate the child and decide whether or not they need some home home help, friends are a support system for the child and family as a whole. Living with a mental disorder is never easy, so it's always important to have people around to make the days a little easier. However, there are negative factors that come with the social aspect of mental illness as well. Parents are sometimes held responsible for the child's illness. People also say that the parents raise their children in a certain way or they acquire their behavior from them. Family and friends are sometimes ashamed of the idea of being close to someone with a disorder. The child feels isolated and thinks that they have to hide their illness from others, when in reality, hiding it from people prevents the child from getting the right amount of social interaction and treatment to thrive in today's society. Stigmas are also a well-known factor in mental illness. A stigma is defined as a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. Stigmas are used especially when it comes to mentally disabled people. People have this assumption that everyone with a mental problem, no matter how mild or severe, is automatically considered destructive or a criminal person. Thanks to the media, this idea has been planted in our brains from a young age. Watching movies about teens with depression or uh, children with autism makes us think that all, all of the people that have a mental illness are like the ones on TV. In reality, the media displays an exaggerated version of most illnesses. Unfortunately, not many people know that, so they continue to belittle those with the disorders. In a recent study, a majority of young people associate mental illness with extreme sadness or violent tendencies. Now that children are becoming more and more open to technology and the media itself. Future generations will then continue to pair mental illness with the negative thoughts. That is bad. Media should be explaining that many people with the psychiatric disorders like ADHD and anxiety can live an ordinary life with the correct treatment and should not be punished for something they cannot help. Along with the social stigmas, individuals with a mental illness can develop a self-stigma. The self-stigma is when the affected individual does not come forward about their feelings in fear of being judged. These self-stigmas can deter the individual from seeking help and treatment. Psychiatrist Thomas says, compared that 50 years ago, children were either categorized as good or bad. And today, all children are good, but some are mentally healthy and some others are mentally ill. Social control and forced identity creation is the cause of many mental health problems among today's children. A behavior or misbehavior might not be an illness, but the exercise of their free will and uh, today's immediate, immediacy in drug administration for many pro every problem along with the legal overguarding and regard of a child's status as a dependent shakes the personal self and invades the internal growth. Mental illness is not only the prevalent among children and adults. Young adults, but also among the homeless. Mental illness is thought to be extremely prevalent among homeless populations, although access to proper diagnosis is limited. Mental health is a socially constructed and socially defined concept that is different societies, groups, cultures, institutions, and professions. Professions have very different ways of conceptualizing its nature and causes, determining what is mentally healthy and deciding what interventions, if any, are appropriate. Thus, different professionals Will have different cultural, class, political, and religious backgrounds, which will impact the methodology applied during treatment. In the context of deaf mental health care, it is necessary for professionals to have cultural competency of deaf and hard of hearing people and to understand how to properly rely on trained, qualified, and certified interpreters when working with culturally deaf clients. Research has shown that there is stigma attached to mental illness. Due to such stigma, individuals may resist labeling 
and be driven to respond to mental health diagnosis with uh, denialism. Family ca caregivers of individuals with mental disorders may also suffer discrimination or face stigma. Social work in mental health, also known as psychiatric social work, is a process where an individual is in a setting is helped to attain freedom from overlapping internal and external problems, social and economic situations, etc. It aims for harmony, quality of life, self-actualization, and personal adaptation across all the systems. Psychiatric social workers are mental health professionals that can assist patients and their family members in coping with both mental health issues and various economic or social problems caused by mental illness or psychiatric dysfunctions. Attain improved mental health and well being. They are vital members of the treatment teams in departments of psychiatry and behavioral sciences in hospitals. They are employed in both outpatients, outpatient and inpatient settings of a hospital, nursing home, state, and local governments, substance abuse clinics, correctional facilities, healthcare services, etc. In the US, social workers provide most of the healthcare services. According to government sources, 60% of mental health professionals. Are clinically trained social workers, 10% are psychiatrists, 23% are psychologists, and 5% are psychiatric nurses. Mental health social workers in Japan have professional knowledge of health and welfare and skills essential for persons' well being. The social work training enables them to, as a professional, to carry out consultation assistance for mental disabilities and the social reintegration, consultation regarding the rehabilitation of the victims. Advice and guidance for post-discharge residents and re-employment after hospitalized care for major life events in regular life, money and self-management and other relevant matters to equip them to adapt in daily life. Social workers provide individual home visits for mentally ill and to welfare services available with a specialized training in a range of procedural services are coordinated for home, workplace and school. In an administrative relationship, psychiatric social workers provide consultation, leadership, conflict management, and work direction. Psychiatric social workers also who provide assessment and psychosocial interactions function as a clinician, counselor, and municipal staff of the health centers. Unemployment has been shown to hurt an individual's emotional well-being, self-esteem, and more broadly, the mental health. Increasing unemployment has been shown to have a significant impact on mental health, predominantly depressive disorders. The prevalence of mental illness is higher in more unequal rich countries. Emotional mental disorders are a leading cause of disabilities worldwide. Investigating the degree of severity of untreated emotional mental disorders toward the world is a top priority of the world mental health, WMH. Survey initiative. It was created in 1998 by the WHO. Neuropsychiatric disorders are the leading causes of disability worldwide, accounting for 37% of healthy life years lost through the disease. These disorders are most destructive to low and middle income countries due to the inability to provide the citizens with the property. Despite modern treatment and rehabilitation for emotional mental health disorders, even economically advanced, advantaged societies are competing priorities and budgetary constraints. The WMH survey initiative has suggested a plan for countries to redesign the mental health care systems to best allocate resources. The first step is documentation of services being used and the extent and nature of unmet treatment Needs. The second step could be to do a cross-national comparison of, us, of service use and unmet needs in countries with a different mental health care system. Such comparisons can help to uncover optimum final financing, national policies, and delivery systems for mental health care. Knowledge of how to provide effective mental health care has become imperative worldwide. Unfortunately, most countries have sufficient data to guide decisions, absent or competing visions for resources, and near constant pressures to cut insurance and entitlements. The Center for Addiction and Mental Health discuss how a certain amount of stress is a normal part of daily life. Small doses of stress help people meet deadlines, be prepared for presentations, be productive, and arrive on time for important events. However, long-term stress can become harmful 
and stress becomes overwhelming and prolonged the risks of mental health problems and medical problems increase the terms mental health promotion and prevention have often been confused promotion is defined as intervening to optimize positive mental health by addressing determinants of positive mental health that is protective factors before a specific mental health problem has been identified is the ultimate goal of improving the positive mental health of the population mental health prevention is defined as intervening to minimize mental health problems this factors by addressing determinants of mental health problems before a specific mental health problem has been identified in the individual group in the individual group or population of focus with the ultimate goal of reducing the number of future mental health problems in the population prevention emphasizes the avoidance of risk factors promotion aims to enhance an individual's ability to achieve a positive sense and self esteem mastery well being and social inclusion yoga is a great example of an activity that calms your entire body and nerves according to a study of well being by uh, on well being by richards company and newsberg mindfulness is considered to be a purposeful state it may be that those who practice it believe in its importance and value being mindful so the valuing of self care activities may influence the intentional component of mindfulness mental health is conventionally defined as a hybrid of commentators a hybrid of absence of a mental disorder and the presence of well being focus is increasing on preventing mental disorders prevention is better than cure some commentators have argued pragmatic and practical approach to mental disorder prevention at work would be to treat it the same way as physical injury prevention prevention of a disorder at a young age may significantly decrease the chances that the child will suffer from disorder later in life and shall be the most efficient and effective measure from a public health perspective prevention may require the the regular consultation of a physician for uh, at least twice a year to detect any signs that reveal any mental health concerns similar to mandated health screenings bills across the us are being introduced to require mental health screenings for students attending public schools additionally social media is becoming a resource for prevention in 2004 the mental health Health Services Act began to fund marketing initiatives to educate the public on mental health. While social media can benefit mental health, it can also lead to deterioration if not managed properly. Limiting social media intake is beneficial. Pharmacotherapy is a therapy that uses ph- pharmaceutical drugs. Pharmacotherapy is used in the treatment of mental illness through the use of antidepressants, benzodiazepines, and the use of elements such as lithium. for some people physical exercise can improve, me- improve mental as well as physical health playing sports walking cycling or doing any form of physical activity trigger the production of various hormones sometimes including endorphins which can elevate a person's mood studies have shown that in some cases physical activity can have the same impact as antidepressants in treating depression and anxiety it's for free or over cessation of physical exercise may have adverse effects on some mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety this could lead to many different negative outcomes such as obesity skewed body image lower levels of certain hormones and many more health risks associated with mental illnesses activity therapies also known as recreation therapy and occupational therapy promote healing through active engagement making crafts can be a part of occupational therapy walks can be a part of recreation therapy in recent years coloring has been recognized as an activity that has been proven to significantly lower the levels of depressive symptoms and anxiety in many studies expressive therapies or creative arts therapies are a form of psychotherapy that involves arts of arts or art making These therapies include art therapy, music therapy, drama therapy, dance therapy, and poetry therapy. It has been proven that music therapy is an effective way of helping people who suffer from mental health disorder. 
Psychotherapy is a general term for the scientific based treatment of mental health issues based on modern medicine. It includes a number of schools such as Gestalt therapy, psychoanalysis, cognitive behavioral therapy, psychedelic therapy, transpersonal psychology, psychotherapy, and dialectical behavioral therapy. Group therapy involves any type of therapy that takes place in a setting involving multiple people. It can include psychodynamic groups, expressive therapy groups, support groups, problem solving, and psychoeducation. Trauma therapy is approved by NICE for the treatment of psychosis. The practice of mindfulness meditation has uh, made several mental health benefits, such as bringing about reductions in depression, anxiety, and stress. Mindfulness meditation may also be effective in treating substance abuse disorders. Mindfulness meditation appears to bring about favorable structural changes in the brain. Mental fitness is a mental health movement that encourages people to intentionally regulate and maintain their emotional well-being through friendship, regular human contact, and activities that include meditation, calming exercises, aerobic exercise, mindfulness, having a routine, and maintaining adequate sleep. Mental fitness is intended to build resilience against everyday mental health challenges to prevent an escalation of anxiety, depression, and suicide suicidal ideation and help them cope with the escalation of those feelings if they occur. Spiritual counselors meet with people to in need to offer comfort and support and to help them gain a better understanding of the issues and develop a problem-solving relation with the spirituality. These types of counselors deliver care based on spiritual, psychological, and theological principles. There are many factors that influence mental health, including mental illness, disability, and suicide. are ultimately the result of combination of biology, environment, and acts, access to and utilization of mental health treatment. Public health policies can influence access and utilization which subsequently may improve mental health and help to improve progress the negative consequences of depression and associated disability. Trying to tell the difference between what expected behaviors are and what might be the signs of a mental health condition is not always easy. There is no easy test that can let someone know if there is a mental health condition or the actions and thoughts might be typical behaviors of a person or the result of physical illness. Each condition has its own set of symptoms and but some common signs of mental health conditions in adults and adolescents can include excessive worrying or fear, feeling excessively sad or low, confused thinking or problems constant problems concentrating and learning, extreme mood changes, including uncontrollable highs or feelings of euphoria, prolonged or strong feelings of irritability or anger, avoiding friends and social activities, difficulties understanding or relating to other people, changes in sleeping habits or feeling tired and poor energy, changes in eating habits such as increased hunger or lack of appetite, changes in sex drive, difficulty perceiving reality, inability to perceive changes in one's own feelings, behavior or personality, abuse of substances like alcohol or drugs, multiple physical ailments without obvious causes, thinking about suicide, inability to carry out daily activities or handle daily problems and stress, an intense fear of weight gain or concern with appearance. A mental disorder, also known as mental illness or psychotic disorder, is a behavioral or mental pattern that causes significant distress or impairment of personal functioning. Such features may be persistent, relapsing, and uh, limiting or occur as a single episode. Many disorders have been described with signs and symptoms that vary widely between specific disorders. Such disorders may be diagnosed by a mental health professional. The causes of mental disorders are often unclear. Theories may incorporate findings from a range of fields. 
Mental disorders are fully defined by a combination of how a person behaves, feels, perceives, or thinks. This may be associated with particular regions or functions of the brain, often in social contexts. A mental disorder is one aspect of mental health. Cultural and religious beliefs, as well as social norms, should be taken into account when making a diagnosis. Services are based in psychiatric hospitals or in the community, and assessments are carried out by mental health professionals such as psychiatrists, psychologists, psychiatric nurses, and clinical social workers using various methods such as psychometric tests, but often relying on observation and questioning. Treatments are provided by various mental health professionals. Psychotherapy and psych psychiatric medication are two major treatment options. Other treatments include lifestyle changes, social interventions, peer support, and self-help. In a majority of cases, there might be involuntary detention or treatment. Prevention programs have been shown to reduce depression. Common mental disorders include depression, which affects about 264 million, bipolar disorder, which affects about 45 million, dementia, which affects about 50 million, and schizophrenia and other psychosis, which affects about 20 million people globally. Development disorders include intellectual disability and pervasive developmental disorders, which usually arise in infancy or childhood. Stigma and discrimination can add to the suffering and disability associated with the mental disorders, leading to various social movements attempting to increase understanding and change the challenge social exclusion. There are many different categories of mental disorder, many different facets of human behavior and personality that can become disorder, anxiety disorder. Anxiety or fear that interferes with normal functioning may be classified as an anxiety disorder. Commonly recognized categories include specific phobias, generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, agoraphobia, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post traumatic stress disorder, mood disorder, other affective emotion mood process can also become disorder. Mood disorder involving unusually intense and sustained sadness, melancholia, or despair is known as major depression, also known as unipolar or clinical depression. Milder but still prolonged depression can be diagnosed as dysthymia. Bipolar disorder, also known as manic depression, involves abnormally high or pressured mood status, mood states, also known as mania or hypomania. Alternating with the normal or depressed moods. Psychotic disorder. Patterns of belief, language use, and perception of reality can become dysregulated. Psych psychotic disorders in this domain include schizophrenia and delusional disorder. Schizoaffective disorder is a category used for individuals showing aspects of both schizophrenia and affective disorders. Schizotypy is a category used for individuals showing some of the characteristics, aspects of both. Uh, okay, is a schizotype. Atypy is a category used for individuals showing some of the characteristics associated with schizophrenia, but without meeting all cutoff criteria. Personality disorders. Personality is a fundamental. Other. Uh, Fundamental characteristics of a person that influence thoughts and behaviors across situations and time may be considered disorder if judged to be abnormally rigid and maladaptive. Although treated separately by some, the commonly used categorical schemes include them as mental disorders, albeit on a separate axis. In the case of DSM 4, yes, a number of different person, different Personality disorders are listed, including those sometimes classed as eccentric, such as paranoid, seaside, and schizotypal personality disorders. Types that have been described as traumatic or emotional. Such as antisocial borderline is antisocial borderline histrionic or narcissistic personality disorders. 
do sometimes past or sphere related such as ants anxious avoidant dependent or obsessive compulsive personality disorders personality disorders in general are classified are defined as emerging in childhood or at least by adolescence or early childhood the icd also has a category for enduring personality change affect catastrophic experience or psychiatric illness if an inability to sufficiently adjust to life circumstances begins within 3 months of a particular event or situation and ends within 6 months after the stress stops or is eliminated it may instead be classed as an adjustment disorder there is an emerging consensus that so called personality disorders like personality traits in general actually incorporate a mixture of acute dysfunctional behaviors that may result in short periods and maladaptive temperamental traits that are more enduring furthermore there are also non categorical schemes that rate all individuals by a profile of different dimensions of personality without a symptom based cut off from normal personality variation for example through schemes based on dimensional models eating disorders these disorders involve disproportionate concern in matters of food and weight categories of all disorder in this area include anorexia nervosa bulimia nervosa exercise bulimia or binge eating disorder sleep disorder these conditions are associated with the disruption to normal sleep patterns common sleep disorder is insomnia it is described as difficulty falling and or staying asleep sexual disorders and gender dysphoria these disorders include dyspareunia and various kinds of paraphilia paraphilia impulse control disorder people who are abnormally unable to resist certain urges or impulses that could be harmful to themselves or others may be classified as having an impulse control disorder and disorders such as kleptomania or pyromania there is behavioral addiction such as gambling addiction to be classed as disorder obsessive compulsive disorder can sometimes involve an inability to resist certain acts but is classed separately as being primarily an anxiety disorder substance use disorder this disorder refers to the use of drugs that poses despite significant problems or harm related to its use substance dependence and substance abuse fall under the umbrella category in the dsm substance abuse substance use disorder may be due to a pattern of compulsive associated compulsive and repetitive use of a drug that results in tolerance to its effects and withdrawal symptoms when use is reduced or stopped dissociative disorder people who suffer severe disturbances of the self identity memory and general awareness of themselves and their surroundings may be classified as having those types of these types of disorders including depersonalization disorder or dissociative identity disorder just previously referred to as multiple personality disorder or uh, split personality cognitive disorder these affect cognitive abilities including learning and memory this category includes delirium and mild and major neurocognitive disorder previously termed dementia developmental disorder this disorder initially occurs in childhood some examples include autism spectrum disorders oppositional defiant disorder and contact disorder and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder adhd which may continue in adulthood contact disorder if continuing into adulthood may be diagnosed as anti social personality disorder somatoform disorders may be diagnosed when there are problems that appear to originate in the body that are thought to be manifestations of a mental disorder this includes somatization disorder and conversion disorder there are also disorders of how a person perceives the body such as body dysmorphic dysmorphic disorder 
neurasthenia is an old diagnosis in, including including somatic complaints as well as fatigue and low spirits and depression it is officially recognized by the icd 10 but no longer by the dsm 4 factitious disorders such as nonchusian syndrome are diagnosed as with as symptoms are thought to be experienced and are reported for personal gain there are attempts to introduce a category of relational disorder with for the diagnosis is of a relationship rather rather than on any one individual in that relationship the relationship may be between children and their parents between couples or others there already exists under the category of psychosis a diagnosis of shared psychotic disorders that two or more individuals share a particular delusion because of the close relationship with each other there are a number of uncommon psychotic syndromes which are often named after this person who first described them such as capgras syndrome d claramball syndrome otello syndrome ganser syndrome cotard delusion and eggbomb syndrome and additional disorders such as the covert syndrome and gesvin syndrome various new types of mental disorder diagnosis are occasionally proposed among those controversially considered by the official committees of the diagnostic manuals include self defeating personality disorder sadistic personality disorder passive aggressive personality disorder and pre menstrual disorder the number of psychiatric disorders are linked to a family history studies have uh, also revealed a very high heritability for many mental disorders especially autism and schizophrenia during the prenatal stage factors like unwanted pregnancy lack of adaptation to pregnancy or substance abuse during pregnancy increases the risk of developing a mental disorder maternal stress and uh, other complications inclu- including prematurity and infections have also been implicated in reducing increasing susceptibility for mental illness in fact in fact neglected or not provided optimal nutrition have a higher risk of developing cognitive impairment social influences have also been found to be important including abuse neglect bullying social stress traumatic events and other negative or overwhelming life experiences nutrition also plays a role in mental disorders in schizophrenia and psychosis risk factors include migration and discrimination childhood trauma bereavement or separation in families abuse of drugs and urban urbanicity in anxiety risk factors may include parenting factors including parental rejection lack of parental warmth high hostility harsh discipline high maternal negative effect affect anxious child driving modeling of dysfunctional drug abusing behavior and child abuse adults with imbalanced work of life imbalanced work imbalanced work to life or a at a higher risk for developing anxiety a bipolar disorder stress such as childhood adversity is not a specific cause but does place genetically and uh, biologically vulnerable individuals at risk for a more severe cause of illness mental disorders are associated with uh, drug use including cannabis alcohol and caffeine use of which appears to promote anxiety for psychosis and schizophrenia usage of a number of drugs have been associated with the development of the disorder including cannabis cocaine and amphetamines there has been debate regarding the relationship between usage of cannabis and bipolar disorder cannabis are uh, as out also been associated with the depression adolescents are at increased risk for tobacco alcohol and drug use peer pressure is the main reason why adolescents start using substances at this age the use of substances could be detrimental to the development of the brain and place them at higher risk of developing mental disorder people living with uh, chronic conditions like hiv and diabetes are at a higher risk for developing a mental disorder people living with the diabetes experience significant stress 
from biological impact of the disease, which places them at higher risk for developing anxiety and depression. Diabetic patients also have to deal with emotional stress, trying to manage the disease. Conditions like heart disease, stroke, respiratory conditions, cancer and arthritis increase the risk of a developing mental disorder when compared to the general population. Risk factors for mental illness include a propensity for high neuroticism or emotional instability. Anxiety risk factors may include temperament and attitudes. Debates, discussion, and open ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views, expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As per my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far, I know I rushed through to complete the presentation within uh, 20 minutes maximum. This time limit is self imposed to retain the viewer's attention as an arm. I am quite aware of the fact that I exceed this time limit. Sometimes I take double or even triple the time depending on the topic. Today I should have taken almost one hour. I know that. Since I make honest attempts to cover a selected topic more elaborately, including so many intricate fine details, referring a wide variety of sources, in particular Wikipedia, quite extensively, besides articles and books published recently. Besides, of course, I sprinkle my own salt and pepper and season it with my personal experiences so far in my life and also. Intuition, stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Live a healthy life, God alone. God, also known as the Supreme Court, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural unnatural bio-war and cyber-war events like pandemics and epidemics, which uh, ultimately pays the way for apocalypse, apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony. Today I have taken 52 minutes, not bad.